My name is Devante Mountain. I've been working with Jodrick Management since December 2013, so about nine months now. I've been with John George for 17 years. I've been with the company for two years. For three years now? I've been working for JG for about 24 years. I started with John George in 1992 as a line cook. I've been with John George for 15 years. At this point, I've worked with John George for nine years. I think it's 10 years. For seven years. I have been doing this for almost 20 years, and I've worked for John George for almost six of those 20 years. Working for John George was like getting my PhD. The team that I work with, uh, that you know, John George has put together over the years, is a lot of longevity. People, you know, myself, over 20 years, 14 years, 16 years, um, because he continually challenges you, because he challenges himself every day. And if you want to take on that challenge and better yourself on a daily basis, and we're always looking to, to be the best that we can be, anywhere. And any of our findings or learnings that we take in New York, we try to spread that word to the rest of our teams, our chefs, our managers, globally. I started as an intern. After I graduated from the bachelor's, I came back, started as a line cook downstairs in Nougatine. Worked my way through every station. I've worked as a Sioux at John George here in Manhattan for three years now. And I will be stepping into a new role as the culinary trainer and coordinator for John George Corporation. I started as a line cook at John George. Um, and was promoted to sous chef six months after that. And when the chef left, he promoted me to chef de cuisine. And as a chef de cuisine, I started developing recipes for new openings. Um, I left John George to be the opening chef of Perry Street Restaurant um, and left Perry Street to assume the role that I'm in now. The whole world can be complex, but he has this way of looking at things in a simple form that allows for a completely different perspective than 99% of the population, but in a way it's very obvious. And you see that in the way he runs his business, the people that he chooses to do so, and uh, most certainly the food that he's created over the years. Things that are too complex, too fussy, too busy, we lose all that here. And uh, what we end up with is sourcing the greatest food that we can get from around the world and manipulating it as little as possible. And the results are staggering. The vision is to uh, really give an incredible you know, experience to the, the guests, to every guest that comes in from the dining room to the kitchen. Some flavor that you don't really expect that will work together. I, I never imagined I'd be traveling with Jean George and, and opening restaurants. It's been an incredible experience. So He gives us a lot of room to express ourselves when it comes to our areas of responsibilities. John George really operates in a way where each restaurant is individually run um, so that there's a specific core culture that suits that particular restaurant and I think that that builds a lot of identity amongst people who work there and allows you to really come together. The one thing I see personally from Jean George is his constant dedication to his team and really working side by side with his team and his restaurants as opposed to delegating. He's a facilitator and he's just full of fresh ideas. He loves to impart his knowledge and I think that the more he learns, the more he shares. People know that I've worked for him for a long time so they always say to me, oh, you know, you, you, he's taught you how to cook and that's, some of that's true, most of it's true really, but I think more importantly, he's taught me how to taste. And they don't teach that in any culinary school. You know, you, that takes a long time to develop. And I think that's what sets him apart from other chefs. He really takes the time and energy to teach you how to taste. And once you understand what you're tasting, then you can really strive to make each and every dish uh, as balanced as you possibly can. You have to imagine that this is someone who changed the face of food completely in the American culture and then took that on a global level. So you're talking about the chef who invented a molten chocolate cake. Besides being a tremendous talent in the kitchen, is a tremendous visionary in terms of environment and space and the, the total translation over the story of food that a consumer can engage in. My name is Jean-Georges von Gerstein and I'm the chef owner of Little Empire. <laughs> it's all about talent, you know. From, for me, uh, what makes a restaurant work is really the people. It's a big family and I think every restaurant has its own identity, its own style of cooking. You know, having uh, that many restaurants, in, uh, those, we have about 10 restaurants in the city, 
So every year, you have so many sous chefs pushing behind. So many, you know, line cooks become chef de partie, become sous chef, and every year we have three, four talents who are really ready to, to be chefs today. So we, we really nurture, you know, our people in the kitchen. Inspiration for me is all about travel, on getting flavor from everywhere. The food is exciting. I mean, we're living in an exciting world on the, on the restaurant business. We're here to please people. We never stop learning. It's, that's the most amazing, you know. The combination of food, herbs, spices are endless.